Hi, Maiko. Welcome to a new episode of New Arrivals. I'm Milo and I'm presenting this week's episode. Uh, we're coming to you from the uh, boutique guitar room here at the Fellowship of Acoustics. Take a look around. We have some brands like Collings with Santa Cruz here, Bourgeois. Uh, really, really beautiful uh, boutique guitars. Uh, we're going to start over here on the floor with a brand new Gibson guitar. And quite a luxurious one. There you go. So this is a new Gibson Doves in Flight in a uh, really pretty Alcoa construction. Check that out. For those of you who don't know, the, the Doves in Flight is a really decked out luxurious version of the Gibson Dove. Uh, you have the, the Gibson Hummingbird is the most famous uh, model in sort of that range. Um, the Hummingbird has a, a spruce top and mahogany back and sides, and the Dove has a slightly longer scale length and has maple back and sides. Well, this doesn't has, uh, have maple, this is all koa, but it does have the longer 25 and a half inch scale length. Uh, where the normal uh, Gibson Dove, I, I believe, only has one Dove <laughs> on the uh, entire guitar. This one has a lot. I know exactly how many there are. Um, if you can count really quick, or maybe you know it, comment down below. The winner receives eternal praise <laughs> by me and Maiko. <laughs> um, so this is this is really a uh, sort of a museum uh, item. Um, it is really an eye catcher. It's actually uh, the Doves and Flights. Actually, one of the first guitars that you see uh, when you enter Bozeman uh, Airport in Montana, uh, where Gibson is based. They have a small sort of exhibition there at the airport in, in Bozeman, um, where they have three guitars, I believe, and one of them is a Doves in flight, uh, which is typical for the in flight. So one last thing to mention about this guitar and, and the Koa tone wood is that the Koa blends the mid-range uh, of a, a mahogany guitar with sort of the, the brightness of a, a maple guitar. And uh, it's quite a, a stiff wood. So Koa uh, begins its life uh, more on the maple end of things. Uh, but when you play it in, it tends to sweeten up a little bit and move more towards the uh, sweeter, warmer mahogany range. So uh, if you decide to buy this, play it a lot. Uh, it, it, was, it will open up and sound really warm and sweet. Next up, we have a boutique builder, but not a boutique uh, acoustic guitar. This is from our friends over at Collings Guitars in Austin, Texas. There you go. This is a i35 LC Vintage in a beautiful blonde finish. The i35, as you can see, is the uh, Collings recreation of the 335 model. Um, they have multiple um, iterations of the i35. It started out with the, uh, the, the plain i35, I say plain, but that is the uh, really luxurious hand-carved solid uh, uh, guitar. Then they uh, produced the i35 LC, uh, that is the laminate construction, so more like the uh, original 335. And now we have the uh, uh, i35 LC Vintage. So this is a laminate uh, construction, laminated uh, maple, uh, but they really redesigned the entire guitar to vintage specs. And one of the things they did is they changed the construction of the center block. I don't know exactly what size of wood they use right now, but I do know it's different than the i35, the normal i35 LC. Um, maybe to give it more of a vintage tone. As you can maybe notice, the i35 is a little bit smaller than a normal 335, but it is larger than the, sm uh, the small uh, hollow body that gives and make the 339. So it's kind of in between. I think it's really comfortable uh, uh, size to, to play. So like I mentioned, they have a sort of a new laminate recipe on this vintage series. Uh, uh, other than that, we also have the throwback 
ESG 102B, I believe the pickups are called. Fact check me on that. Uh, and they also use the Bumblebee capacitors on this. Well, you may think that the I-35 stands for the 335. It's also a sort of a wink to the I-35 highway that runs through uh, Austin and causes all kinds of uh, traffic jams. But I can assure you, if you buy this I-35, you're on the highway to success. <laughs> some of you already spotted this really tiny uh, gig bag over here this may be the cheapest guitar we ever had in our uh, new arrivals uh, episode <laughs> sorry it's a, a small guitar uh, of course I'm talking about a mandolin uh, but why I wanted to feature this is because Eastman decided to make a, a PCH variant of the mandolin that they make for those of you who don't know, the PCH, Pacific Coast Highway, is a series that Eastman produces. Um, they have solid tops, have, uh, laminate construction for uh, um, the back and sides, but they are really, really cheap guitars and offer a lot of value uh, for your money. And now they decided to make mandolins in this series, which I think is really, really great. At the time of making this video, uh, the price of these mandolins are 469 euros, uh, which is Incredible, if you ask me. Uh, what you get in that price is a solid spruce top, like I mentioned, laminate mahogany back and sides. You have a beautiful uh, gold burst uh, matte finish. They have some other finishes as well, so check out our website. And you also get a gig bag with that. You know, mandolins can get quite expensive, and for a lot of guitarists, a mandolin is just another tool in, in the, the shed or in your arsenal and uh, maybe you don't want to spend 2,000 euros on a really great uh, mandolin. And right now you can get a really high value mandolin for not a lot of money, which I think is great. <laughs> Next, a vintage Martin guitar from 1957. We have a O18, so the smallest of all the O orchestra models that uh, uh, Martin produces. Um, so uh, I believe uh, some of you may call this couch guitars on the internet, uh, but they are capable of doing so much more. Um, this one has lived a life. Uh, we don't know exactly what it went through, uh, but we do, do know what happened to it. Um, a lot has been done. It has had a neck reset. It has had a, a refret, a new nut, a new saddle. Uh, the bridge has been re-glued once. Um, it has had some, some cracks that have been repaired. Uh, yeah, you can see some of them here. Uh, there's also been a, 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 a refinish on some spots on the back as well. Um, if you're interested in this guitar, you're probably not interested in having it in the most pristine condition. Um, this guitar sounds incredible. Um, we always have the guitars in our marketing department because we have to write an ad for it and, and make the video for it. And we always have the chance to play them a little bit. And uh, Martin and I played this a lot yesterday and we fell in love with this guitar. It sounds incredible. All in all, a really nice and small vintage Martin guitar. Uh, we have mahogany back and sides. Sitka spruce top, um, it has a lot of battle scars, but uh, I really love it.
this week's star of the show is in this case over here. It's another Gibson guitar. It's a devilish Gibson SG from 1965. Have a look at this. This looks like a, a, a new uh, Murphy Lab aged custom shop. Um, this is so clean. You have the beautiful Maestro Lyre Vibrato. A um, few things to mention on this uh, is it has had a overspray on the back, so uh, but you can't really distinguish it from uh, uh, the, the top, so it looks it looks perfect. We checked this guitar out for originality. We know that the uh, the pots are all uh, original. Uh, we can really say for sure that the pickups are original. They are period correct uh, patent uh, patent number uh, humbuckers. Um, but we don't know for sure if something has been changed on them. So um, they are period correct, but we can't say for sure that they are original, but they sound incredible. Um, we have the uh, Brazilian Rosewood fingerboard on this uh, SG from 65. It just looks so cool. Um, this is a, a, a rock staple and uh, in great condition. So we're going to listen to uh, Tom Shred on this. Go Tom. <laughs> that was it for this week as always let us know which of these five is your favorite uh, i think my favorite is the uh, gibson sg i think it looks really cool uh, last week i mentioned the oasis tickets if someone uh, scored some tickets let me know um maybe i'll see you there uh so uh, nothing else to mention uh, i hope to see you next week bye, bye. bye. Um, an O18. Oh. Man, 57. O18. I'll be damned. This is one hell of a great guitar over here, folks. I'll bet you. Chef Mark. I'll bet you. If I can, if I can sum up this guitar in a single word, here will be.